How's it going everybody? I'm Blind Dev here. Uh, today I'm bringing you a video on how to set up your own Valheim server. Uh, this one should be relatively easy to do. Probably going to be one of the most simplest ones out of uh, all the uh, setups I've done. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is download Steam CMD. I'm going to do that by doing a quick Google search here, just for Steam CMD. Click on that first link, we're going to click on Windows. Then right here, in Steam CMD for Windows, just this little one icon right here, we're going to go and click that and download it. Alright, that puts us in the download folder, so let's go ahead and open that up. We're going to extract the files. Once we have that extracted, I'm going to control X to cut. I'm going to go back into my PC here. We're going to go to the local C drive, create a new folder, call it servers. Go into that folder, then we're going to control V to paste it in there. And we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it Valheim. We're going to use that in just a second. First things first, we're going to want to uh, install all the necessary files that we need for the Steam CMD in order to do that. Just got to double click on this to run it, and all the files will begin downloading. So let's go ahead and do that now. Perfect. Now that that is done, next thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to go back to our servers folder, go into Valheim, and we'll click up here. It's automatically a highlight. I'm going to control C that. And then we're going to go back to our command prompt that we have open here. We're going to do force underscore install underscore directory, or just DIR, I'm sorry. And then we're going to just do control V to uh, paste that uh, directory in, then we're going to hit enter. Then we're going to do login anonymous. All right, now that we're logged in, uh, we go, we're going to want to go ahead and download all the necessary files for Valheim. So let's go ahead and do app underscore update. And then the server ID is 896660. And we're going to do validate. And then hit enter. And that's going to go ahead and download all the necessary files that we need. So we're going to let that run its course. All right, now that that is complete, we can go ahead and just type in exit and close that out. Now these are all the files that we need for the uh, Valheim server. They were nice enough to provide us with a start bat uh, file. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to right click on that. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to take all this, copy it, control C, close that. We're going to create a new one because every time the server updates, it's going to create a new one of these. And you'll have to go in there and change the settings every single time. Which, I don't know about you, that's not really something I want to do. So, we're going to create a new text document here. We're going to call it a start server. And in order to change that to a bat file, we're going to have to go up to view. If you don't have this already, go to view and then click on file name extensions. It'll disappear and then you have all the extension files down here. So, there's .text, .bat, all that good stuff. So, we're going to go in here, change the txt to .bat and then hit enter. We're going to confirm this by hitting yes. Then we're going to right click on that, hit edit again, and we're going to paste everything in here that was in the other one. So for my server, this is going to be the name of the server. So for this example, we're going to do blind dev Valheim. Uh, we're all dedicated. You can change it to whatever you want. Password, change whatever you want. This is just demonstration purposes. So therefore, I'm just going to leave everything the same. Uh, this also gives us the uh, Ports that we're going to need, and we're going to use that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that real quick because we're about to go into that right next. So in order for, um, oops, we're going to want to save that, of course. Uh, so in order for other people uh, to go ahead and play on the server with you, you need to open up the ports in your firewall. Uh, you also need to open up the ports in your router as well. Unfortunately for that, I do not show anybody how to do that because most people have different routers, and it's really hard to go through and teach you how to port forward when there's so many different routers. But you can uh, Google search your specific router that you have, and um, you can look up how to port forward with that router. But I am going to show you how to open up the ports in your firewall. So we're going to go ahead and click the start button. We're going to type in firewall here. And a firewall with advanced security. We're going to click on that. Wait for it to open. 
We're going to go to inbound rules. We're going to hit new rule. We're going to port. Hit next. Under TCP, we're going to just paste that in there just like that. Hit next. Allow connections. Leave all that stuff as default. We're going to call this Valheim TCP. Then hit finish or hit enter like I did. I'm going to do new rule again. Go to port. Next. We're going to change this from TCP to UTP. Paste in the ports yet again. Hit next. Leave all that stuff as default. We're going to call this Valheim UDP and hit enter or you can click on finish. And that is that. Now the uh, ports are opened up to the firewall so you're good to go on that. And to go ahead and start your server, you're just going to double click on your star server bat file that you just created. And within just a few minutes, you will have your Valheim server up and running just like that. Pretty simple and easy to do. Uh, if you want to update your server, uh, it's relatively simple. You can either create a batch file um, or you can open up the Steam CMD. I pref preferably like creating batch files myself. Uh, so what I'll, what I'll go ahead and do is I will post the code for the update of the batch file um, down in the description below this video. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like here real quick. All right. So within this folder, we're going to right click and create another new document here. We're going to name this uh, server update. Take out the TXT and we name it to a bat file. Hit yes to confirm that. Right click and hit edit. I'm, I'm going to paste this in from another tutorial video. Uh, just because it makes it easier for me instead of having to type everything in here. So, this is going to be called Valheim. Um, in my case, these are lowercase, not capitalized. And then for the app ID, we're just going to change this over to the Valheim's app ID, which is 896660. And just like that, we're going to save it and then close it. Just like that. And that is your update bat file. So every time you need to update the server, you're just going to double click on that and it will update the server. Uh, so here the server is already running. Real quick though, because I've, I've got this in previous videos. I'm going to go ahead and close this down real quick. We got this in previous videos when people go to update the server, they get like a little error uh, talking about uh, set directory first, you know, before you log in like that. Oh, and that went away way too quick. So, what I'm going to do real quick to kind of help show that code, we're going to add in a validate here before we add in the quit. This way, if you add in the validate, it's going to update all the files, whether there's an actual update or not. If validate isn't in there, all it's going to do is going to check to see if the files, if it does need to update. And if it doesn't need to update, then it'll just close out immediately like it just did. But if you got validated in there, it's going to run everything regardless if there's an update or not. So it's going to take a little bit longer to do this time. Don't need to worry about that. Don't need to freak out about it. Just leave it alone. It's going to continue doing its thing. And that was still pretty quick. But it was on the screen a lot longer. Um, just let it do its thing. It's going to do everything that it needs to do regardless. So don't worry about the error. You'll be fine. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, all you got to do is pour forward, and then you are good to play. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.